Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Ashley and this is our week test, weekly test question um, where we are applying our in the know and this week we are applying why test questions aren't studying. So I'm going to demonstrate for you how you can take a test question and take the rationale or the one line takeaway from that test question and be able to apply it to any test question. So here's our question for the week. It is a select all that comply question, um, but it's not that bad. So have at her. A nurse provides education to a client recently diagnosed with Addison's disease. Which symptoms should be discussed? Select all that apply. So our options are one, salt craving, two, weight loss, three, hypertension, four, hypoglycemia, and five, muscle weakness. So let's talk about those all individually. In order to answer this question, of course, you need to understand what Addison's disease is. So let me make Addison's disease simple for you. Addison's disease is a lack of steroids, specifically a lack of aldosterone. If you can understand what aldosterone, aldosterone does in the body, aldosterone, when it's secreted, causes sodium retention. Water chases salt. So when we have sodium retention, we also have fluid retention, right? Addison's patients don't have aldosterone, though. So they don't get that fluid retention and they don't get that sodium retention. So they actually have a salt cravings because they have low levels of sodium due to those low levels of salt retention caused by the aldosterone. So while that's happening, we also need to understand what steroids are. So steroids cause a couple things in the body, two things very specifically, hyperglycemia and infection, as well as fluid retention. So if Addison's patients have a lack of steroids, they're not going to have fluid retention, they're not gonna have that risk for infection, and they're gonna have the opposite of hyperglycemia, which is hypoglycemia. So let's look at our options here. One, salt cravings. Yes, that is true, we will include that. Um, Addison's patients have that lack of aldosterone, therefore the lack of sodium retention, therefore will crave salt. Weight loss. Steroids cause us to gain weight and bulk up. Addison's patients have a lack of steroids, so they would therefore have weight loss. Hypertension. Well, we just talked about how Addison's patients don't have enough aldosterone, so they're not retaining sodium, so they're not retaining fluid. If they have less fluid, they therefore have less volume, they therefore have less pressure. So they actually have hypotension. That's the big scary thing about Addison's disease, the Addisonian crisis. Um, so hypertension, number three, we are definitely not going to choose that one. Number four, hypoglycemia. Yes, we are going to choose hypoglycemia. And that's because if you know that steroids cause hyperglycemia, you're going to automatically know that Addison's has a lack of steroids, so they are at risk of hypoglycemia. And muscle weakness, number five, yes, that is indeed true because they have that lack of steroids, right? So they're going to have muscle weaknesses. So our answer to this question is one, two, four, and five. Those are what we would include in our teaching for the recently diagnosed Addison's patient. So what you can take away from this question that could apply to any question about Addison's disease is the following. <clears throat> Few things. Addison's is a lack of steroids, specifically a lack of aldosterone. The lack of aldosterone causes a lack of sodium retention, which causes a lack of fluid retention. Addison's patients are at risk for hypoglycemia and hypotension, right? They have that lack of steroid hormone. They need salt because they have a lack of aldosterone and sodium retention. So these are one of the few patients you're actually going to add salt into their diet. So those are just some of the takeaways that you can get from this question that you could apply to any question because of course, and what we talk about in our live is this question will not be on your registration exam. So for the answer to this question and more questions, you can check out our complete study package and we will see you next time. Bye for now.